All right, everyone. Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, we're going to talk about networking. And uh, it's because there's a new tool. And I love new tools, especially when they give you more functionality for a cheaper price. How cool is that? So anyway, let's get right into it, guys. Networking tools coming up next right here on Better Biomed. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Here we have on my desk, this is our traditional scan tool, and this is an economical option. You can find these on Amazon for probably, I don't know, $30, $30 something like that, maybe 40 bucks. Don't really remember, it's been a while since I bought this one, but it's old and reliable. Let's go ahead and check it out. Check out old reliable. So in the original kit, we have a tool for using scanning, and we have, I don't know, what is this, a generator? I guess that's a generator. It generates tones, which allow you to track down wires. We also have here, um, what is this guy? This is a mail-to-mail -mail short um, cable. And then I've got this one here for doing phone line and signal tracing. I then have earbuds. Ah, so if I'm in a loud environment, I can plug these guys in, probably to this guy, right? Yep, right there. Then I can uh, listen on the earbuds for the signal. We'll get into that in just a minute. All right, so the functionality of these guys is actually kind of simple. Uh, we have an RJ45 and an RJ11. The RJ45 is Ethernet. The RJ11, that would be your typical telephone, all right? A bit smaller. Uh, so we can do a scan, which, uh, let's see, with the scan, let's turn it on, and let's hit the scan. Hear how when it's near it, with proximity, it beeps? So I can actually uh, use this attachment right here, and you can clip it onto cables, even inside a medical device, as long as it's powered off, you can clip it onto a cable if you want to find out where that cable comes out. Let's say there's a wiring harness inside your ultrasound and you want to figure out which wire is this one that comes through. If you can access one of your conductors, you can clip one of these bad boys on and use a signal tracer. So we hit the scan. And even if you're within proximity, you can hear it. You see that? See that? So that is how you do a scan, but we can also do network test, which I'm gonna go ahead and use this little doohickey right here. We're gonna connect it to the RJ45, and then down here at the base of your scanner or your hand probe, you can connect your other one. Well, now you can see LED lights going through. There it is, now you can see them. So what this test does is it tests all your conductors inside the cable. And if you do it correctly, it's going to scan them pin by pin. And you want to make sure that on each end, it's scanning through nice and even, like one, two, three, four. You don't want it to go to one, to three, to two, or having multiple pins highlight at the same time, which means that you've got a short, which does happen, especially if you make your own Ethernet cables. Let's go ahead and test this bad boy. This is like a 50-footer. All right, you can see it going through the pins. One, two, three, four. So really what you're gonna do is you're gonna be looking on the hand uh, probe, which is this guy right here. So one end, you're gonna plug this guy in, or you can plug it into a jack, which is for this. And then you go to your comm closet, or like I did in my house. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could show you guys like what a, what a nightmare that was to go up in the attic and stuff. And I was not sure uh, if I got the correct pin out. I wasn't sure about a lot of things. But uh, anyway, you can see how it functions. It scrolls through all the lights. And when it scrolls through the lights, you uh, make sure that it coincides with, you know, both ends. And you know you got a good cable. So you can do tone so that you can test for telephones. And continuity, which I don't think I've ever tested for continuity. Anyway. Don't really know, never had to do that, but that is the old style way of doing it. So if that's the old style, I bet you guys are wondering what the new style is like because 
Holy cow, technology has certainly come a long way from this tool. Now this is a pretty cost-effective tool. You've got a lot of functionality in this $30 tool. So if you are making network cables or if you want to just quickly deploy and check cables, like especially if you're doing medical networking or if you're checking like because your device isn't connecting to the central, you can connect one of these bad boys on and you can normally test the cable as long as you have both ends. But let's say you want some of that more advanced functionality. More advanced functionality, like the Fluke net tools and stuff, they can tell you if there's a problem with your uh, cabling without being at both ends. They will tell you how long your run is, your, your length of cable, um, and it'll tell you if there's anything wrong with it, and they do a bunch of other things. And because of that, I've seen a very cost-effective version of the Fluke tool, which actually has more functionality in some ways, right here from Amazon. It is an optical wire meter tracer. This is the NF8508. As soon as I seen it and I seen just a couple of its little screens, I thought, you know something? I have to have that because being able to troubleshoot without having access to both ends of the cable are really important. So uh, let's see, let's go ahead and read it off. It says it's an optical power meter slash VFL. Well, that's kind of beneficial because um, if you are testing like uh, optical networks, which if you're doing a network hub, that's probably what you're going to be doing. Or if you're going to be doing, let's say, uh, medical video systems, like in operating rooms, a lot of those like Carl Stortz, they are fiber. And since they're fiber, fiber optic, you need an optical uh, intensity checker. All right. So the other things that this guy can do, multifunction for cable scanning and continuity testing. It's kind of like the other one. Cable length measurement. It's kind of a big one. Cable length measurement. That is more of an advanced function that you find on like the Fluke Net tool. And what it does is that I, I believe it sends a ping down the cable and based on resistance or whatever, uh, it tells you how long that run is. And if you have a cut or damage in the line, usually they'll show that if they have that function out. We're going to find out. Let's see. It has a PoE switch test. That can be nice. A PoE switch test, which means that you can test your PoE, your power over the Ethernet, which more and more things are PoE now, whether it's security cameras, it could be wireless video systems. There are so many options for PoE. It is the future. So being able to test that without whipping out an extra meter, that's a huge plus. Now, uh, let's see. It does NVC AC test, and it allows you to locate target cables quickly, which is very similar to that unit over there. But this guy does so much more. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get right into it, guys. Now, how much do you think this guy costs? It comes with a few things. We've got a, a manual. We've got the same uh, male to male. I've got male to male RJ11 and male to male uh, RJ45, which is the ethernet. And I have RJ11 to the gator clip, which is just like the other one, which allows you to inject a pulse into a cable. And then you can use your cable tracer to go further down and see where it stops. Maybe you have a construction project that cut the cable like they did to me one day. Anyway, we also have the earbuds. This is looking very similar to the other one, isn't it? I have, ah, I have a USB-C charge cable. I am so glad that these uh, Chinese companies started adding the uh, USB-C. Not only can you do fast charging with it, but having that universal plug end is so nice. Anyway, let's see, what do we got here? Got this guy. Everything comes in a, in a nice plastic bag. I like that. I dig it. Okay. It's got a uh, like a butylene rubber overmold. USB-C charger. Nice. Earphone jack. Nice. It's got a good texture. Good texture grip. I like that. You got a thumb control for your volume. It's got a flashlight, just like the other one. Scan NBC and a flashlight. Okay. All right. 
So up here, these are your uh, fiber optic testers. I have a scan for uh, hmm, so RJ45. I have a port for length or flash. And I have a port for uh, QC and continuity. So I would assume that you'd plug one end here and the other end here. We're going to find that out. Let's go ahead and power it on. Now it does have a little, uh, it's got a clear plastic over the screen. Let's see if I can get this off. Okay. Is it a touch screen? No, it's not a touch screen. It looks like a touch screen. It's an illusion. But it still looks like it's pretty good. Okay. So you can use the arrow keys to go up, down, up, down. Okay, so let's do continuity. I'll plug one end here. And let's see if I plug the other end here. Enter. Press OK. Testing. It says cable open. So I wonder for continuity if we're supposed to use the receiver instead of up here the scan port. Again, I haven't looked at the manual. I like my tools to be self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and turn this guy. Oh, nice. Nice. It's got good LEDs. It's got a scan thing there. It's actually got a much brighter and much better uh, LED for detecting uh, if you're in a con closet or something. I like that. The other one didn't have a really good cable. Or a good LED light. Okay, let's do continuity again. Type cat5, 6 or 6a, press OK to test. Look at this, here we go. Okay, and it showed me the pinout. 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, 4 to 4, 5 to 5. So if you have a uh, twisted pair or a crossover cable, um, it'll tell you. Cool. Enter. Let's do scan. Okay. Right. Well, if we're going to scan, it has to be connected to the scan port. I know that you guys are going to say that. Okay, so this is digital scan mode, and there's also analog scan mode. This one I might have to actually read the manual for. Hmm. Tell you what. Let's go to analog mode. Okay. So the analog mode, the analog mode does have a, oh yeah. Okay, so analog mode, it attenuates the signal the further you get away from it. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's go to digital mode. Okay, digital mode does not attenuate the volume. It's, it's just on or off, right? So if I'm in a closet and I got this one here, there's a little bit of a delay. See it? Hmm. I don't know. Because if you got a whole handful of cables and you're going through and testing them, yeah, I don't know. I don't really like that delay. Here, let's go back to analog mode. Okay, I, I do like the analog mode a little bit better. Yeah, I like the analog mode for scanning a wee bit better. Let's see, we got flash, we've got length. Let's, let's try length. Let's go, okay. Cat5, 
Start testing. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. So for length, I'm supposed to plug it in. There is a separate port for length. My bad. Sorry. Start testing. Okay. Wow. Here's one of the cool things. So here it's telling me uh, wires one and two are 8.5 meters long. Uh, wires three and six are 8.5 meters. Wires four and five, 8.5 meters. So if you have a busted internal set of wires, it'll tell you round about how far down the, the unit is. That's very cool. Uh, okay, so let's let's go ahead and change this to yards or feet. Yeah, we'll, we're going to do feet because this should be a 50-foot cable, I think. Okay. There we go. 28-foot, 28 28-foot, 28 28-foot. Love it. Let's see if it makes a difference when it's plugged in here. 28 foot, it's right on the money, man. So I'd be curious how long this patch cable really is. It could be a 30 foot long cable. Um, I just grabbed it out of a box, so who knows, right? Okay, let's go back, back. PoE, that's cool, QC test. So the QC test, that is definitely one of them that I'm gonna wanna do. So right here, um, we can go to QC test. And QC is on this port. And we're going to hit OK. And you can see it gave me green check marks all the way down saying that this cable is good. OK, let's go back and let's see. We can do OPM, VFL. Those are both for fiber optics. I'll show you guys the, the length. This is actually a nice little meter. So this meter was $119. Couldn't believe it, considering the functionality is built into it, especially the, the cable length and testing out individual uh, conductors. That's a huge plus for a hundred bucks. Hell yeah. Okay, so we're on meter. Let's go ahead and change it to feet. Cat five, let's start testing. Actually, I think this is cat six. Yeah, it is cat six, okay. Here, let's, let's do it again. Let's go back. Let's do cat five. I think it's using resistance for how it figures out how long the cable is. Okay, so we're on cat six. Start testing. Okay. 26.7 foot. There we go. 26.7 foot all the way down. So this must be a 25 footer. That's probably more realistic. Again, it's not going to be an exact math, but if you're working in a medical facility or in an office building or something like that, or even like here at my house, you know, I've got a cables that are going up through the attic and then down into other ports and stuff. You have no idea the length of those. You can use this tool. Okay, so let's go up to, I don't know, let's try the flash. Link test. Okay, so length and flash. So length is here. And we're going to press OK. Okay. Let's go OK. Link test. Am I supposed to plug both ends in here? Test time out. Yeah. Let's try it again. Okay. Link test. So I wonder if I'm supposed to plug the cable in here. Or unless this is supposed to talk to the router. That could be what the flash is. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Some of you guys will probably know what it's for. Okay, so let's see. We got scan. Let's go ahead and hit OK. All right, and this is where we would take the scan tool and you go over it. Okay, and let's see, continuity. 
That's the last one is continuity. Enter cat5, cat6. Okay. So for continuity, it's looking for it to be plugged in here. Okay. And there we go. It gives you a pinout one for one, tells you how it goes all the way down. I guess I could probably also plug it into here, right? Enter. Okay. Okay. For continuity. Oh, so stupid. It's supposed to be plugged into the continuity port. There are a lot of different plugging things in the different ports. It's a little odd. Let's go ahead and hit okay. Okay. There we go. Tells you what your wire is, wire for wire, all the way down. Pretty cool. I dig it. Anyway, I know I don't have any fiber optics on hand, especially to test this guy out, but uh, it's good to know that I have that functionality just in case I want to. Got a lot of functions in this guy, man. So, hmm. Maybe uh, sometime I will go through and I will do an in-depth review on this guy, maybe in the field. But with that being said, this guy is a pretty neat tool for 120 bucks. The fact that I can do, especially like PoE checks and length, that's such a huge plus. But uh, anyway, guys, what do you think? What do you think? Pretty neat little guy, 120 bucks. I'll leave a link in the video description where you can go ahead and check it out if you want. I would say at $120, this guy would have saved me so much of a pain. Um, the fluke tools, um, those are like thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. Given they they do some extra functionality, like you can, you know, do ports and stuff on them. But this one here does a pretty good job. Um, I don't know what the flash does. I would assume the flash is it talks to the router, maybe pulls up um, information, you know, like what it's connecting to. Uh, the fluke tools, I know that when you get those, they will tell you all the nodes on the network between here and wherever it is that you're pointing to. And uh, that's kind of a cool feature. But for 120 bucks, this guy here is definitely going to be, and it comes in a nice little kit. It's going to be uh, one of my go-to tools, especially when I'm out in the field and, uh, you know, my customers are complaining that the data is dropping out or something. It's a pretty good tool to sit there and try and analyze that. Well, guys. <sighs> Let me know what you think. Um, this is just a neat another little tool. This would be the optical wire meter tracer, the NF8508 from Amazon, 120 bucks. Link is down in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys.